Hello my YouTube subscribers and YouTube explorers. Welcome to my channel. Before I even start today's topic, I just wish everyone a great 2022nd. Hopefully this will be the year when we will be back somewhat what I think it should be normal life. With all that we had to deal with the past two years is really losing its track and I think everybody's pretty much tired of it. So I'm really hoping for the best in this year. Anyways, um, today's video is about to show you how to change your password. Um, I'm seeing a lot of issues with locked accounts. I am still 100% uh, sure that many of you have issues with revoking GC key or if it's been revoked by Government Canada itself. Uh, anyways, today's video is going to be only focusing on how to change your password and recovery questions. Remember, when you start creating your GC key account, you had to create security questions and answers or actually for the security questions and answers, um, I think you really need to kind of like either choose the options or type in the questions and then um, choose the answers. I can't really remember, but I know that uh, in uh, one case you have to create even your own question and give the answer. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna use my test the GC key account that I'm using to show how to link uh, certain applications, which I did in the past for study and postgraduate work permit. So in today's video, I'm uh, going to log on into that test account. I mean, let's say I don't remember my password and what to do, where to go. So sign in with GC key. Okay, so I don't know my password, I forgot it, or let's say I type in the wrong password. So it says, it's uh, two errors for your security, all fields have been cleared. So a username was correct, I on purposely didn't answer pro uh, correctly with my password. So you need to click here. There's a link right below, forgot your password. So now you need to type your username, continue. So I created, of course, even for the test account, all my recovery questions and answers. So I also took a picture of this and I also wrote it down on a piece of paper or some sort of notebook that I kind of like keep it for different um, websites and usernames and passwords just in case if I forgot them most of the stuff I can memorize it which is not always a good thing because you can easily forget so many different passwords and usernames so I'm gonna answer it here uh, to my first recovery question and I'm just gonna take a look to basically <clears throat> all of my uh, recovery questions and answers they actually ask me all of these so now I'm going to create new password continue so it says you have successfully changed your GC key password. Please select continue to proceed. So now, since I'm already in here, they let me in. If you decide that you don't want to use these recovery questions and answers anymore, this is now the place to you to change them because for some reason, maybe somebody saw your recovery questions and answers, you don't really, um, feel comfortable maybe you were entering your stuff somewhere where the Wi-Fi wasn't secure 
and you just decided because any other reason to change the recovery questions so either you can click here or here so basically you're going to enter your current password so for me it will be the one that i just changed and start your recovery questions okay so for your recovery questions you have a bunch of options that canada um it's only i guess for the first and then you have to be creative uh for the rest of the um but you have to first answer all of this and then when you click continue you will definitely have to come up with the new answers and questions so this is where you are gonna change your recovery questions so I'm not gonna do this at this point I'm just showing you where, where to go this is very simple but just in case if you didn't notice this video will definitely help you out and I'm gonna now uh, cancel this and I'm going back to the same uh, window so this is the entry point where it says welcome and then your username so you have few options here you can even revoke don't mess with this if you have a bunch of applications um, this is where you're going to change your recovery questions and change your password as well one more time even though you're logged in so i'm going to click continue so what i did with this account i locked myself on purpose and I'm going to try to uh, unlock this account in 24 hours and I'm going to make another video uh, trying to see what can be done if you locked your account. So I hope this video helped and uh, this is uh, another tutorial how to, where to. I am glad that you're here and you watch this video and um, see you again back on my channel. Bye from Ella.